Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be PKing on this level 73 60 attack pure. I recently got Fire Surge on it, so I will be trying that out today at West Dragons. The other account I will be using today is my level 87 75 attack pure. It's pretty much maxed, it's just that it doesn't have 99 hit points, but I'm definitely not in a rush into getting that. I will keep this intro short and I will get right into the clips. I hope you guys enjoy. I had just teled into Bandit Camp to get to West Dragons, and I find this guy running north in red DIG, D boots, Berserker helm, and no weapon. I was like, no idea what he was doing and what he was risking, but I pushed I to kill him because those old guys usually have a lot of risk. Then he pulls out a crossbow and starts shooting me back, and I was kind of suspecting that he was a bait of some kind. Uh, but I still try to kill him. I mean, he could. Could be risking something and uh, i kill him here and i kind of expect some pk in max log in and try to kill me and then i see it drops 500 noted dragon bones and a bunch of ether i was so confused like where was he going and what was he doing what was his plan then i got into a fight with this voider who was risking his ballista and his tome because he had dragon claws and looking at his name i think he was a skull tricker since he had claws, I tried to smite him, and I just can't smite against him, even though it's probably not, not the best idea against the Ballista. But uh, yeah, tried to kill him here, and my uh, DDS hit quite bad, and his Ballista hit me quite hard, actually. But uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, he's running away, running into wizards, and uh, he actually, I think he gapped me here, but he didn't run to the ditch for some reason and he's full t bead and he is uh, venomed and doesn't have an anti-venom so he just i'm just following him around and wait, waiting for him to die really you can see the venom is hitting 20s on him and he's, he seems to be panicking here and doesn't know where to go and he has been camping the range prey all this time so probably pretty low on prayer as well i want those claws man and uh, then his friend comes along, and I assumed he was just, yeah, this kill is, I'm not gonna get this kill because he's gonna PJ me. And then I actually managed to get the freeze just before this guy PJs me. And then I got the freeze on this max pure. And uh, and I fin and stand under him and finish him off, his friend, this voider off with a fire surge. So that was nice. I kind of avoided his AGS pretty good as well. Uh, yeah, that was quite nice, quite lucky as well. Uh, and uh, this guy is, is mad for some reason, I don't know why. Probably because I killed his friend, but yeah, it's the wilderness. And that guy was PKing, so yeah. And yeah, he's definitely not happy about that. And uh, the loot was uh, 2.4, 2.5 mil. Um, so yeah, that's quite a... Quite a nice kill. Unfortunately, I didn't get the claws, but it's all right. But then at the bank, this guy is... Uh, the voider I killed was actually quite cool about it. He was like, yeah, whatever, good fight. But this guy is like, yeah, getting ragged and shit like that. So I don't know why he would be that mad or that. And then like an hour later, the same guy, this pure, was fighting my friend, who's level 76, like 10 levels lower than him, and got him pretty low on food. And then I came in, of course, and they finished him off with the Staff Bash. I almost, almost smited the Staff as well, but uh, most importantly, I killed him for like 1.2 mil. And uh, yeah, it's definitely nice to kill people like that, especially when they are so toxic. And uh, yeah, and then he came back on his ult and uh, talked a little bit more smack. And then he left and I didn't see him again. Here I got attacked by this guy in a split park body. Tome of Fire, Occult, Mystic Hat, and a Mud Battle Staff, and he definitely looked like a bait. So, but I wasn't too worried because I wasn't even scold when he attacked me. And I kill him here, and apparently it wasn't a bait, and I got two mil from him. So yeah, that was nice. So in this next clip, I found a PVMer who was anti pking I assume he was doing that, and uh, he kills this this big hair, and teleports away instantly, leaving all the loot. And of course, I'm waiting for it to appear, and then it comes back. 
and uh, I'm gonna try to kill him. Both his loot and the other PK's loot. And he's not too happy about that. And his space button seems to be out of order. But anyway, he said that I'm not, he's not dying to me. We'll see about that. Uh, here he starts to run away. And uh, splash my freeze. And I get the freeze. And he says, told ya. I don't know why he would say that while well, he's still in level 9 wilderness. But yeah, whatever floats his boat, I guess. And here I do quite a bit of damage on him with the DDS. And here he gets a chance that he doesn't die. Uh, yeah, he seems like to have lots and lots of food. They tank me quite a bit, and I assume he said told you because he thought he could run into the wizards and be safe. But I have my had my friend there who did a pretty good job at attacking the wizards, so he couldn't get a box on them. And uh, here he dies right there. And uh, he seems a bit surprised, and I'm also surprised because I got 800 cannonballs from him. This will be the end of the commentary, but I will definitely recommend you guys to keep watching as there are some pretty nice clips in the rest of this video and I will put some uh, music for you guys in the background. And if you do enjoy my content, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I see you guys in the next one. Enjoy! This is the end, you know Lady, the plans we had went all wrong we ain't nothing but a fight and shout and tears We got to a point I can't stand I've headed to the limit, I can't be your man I ain't more than a minute away from walking We can cry the pain away We can find the This is the end, you know